Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Pablo, the host and counselor. Today we're going to be diving into the benefits of magnesium for your mental health. I'm here today with Artie, a very special guest. Uh, Artie is the owner of Lift the City Supplements here in Toronto, uh, in the heart of the city and he's also a supplement expert. So let's just dive right into it. Um, why is it important to have magnesium in your body? Uh, magnesium, first off, it has over 300 biomechanical uh, actions in the body. It's, it's responsible for so many different things. Uh, it can regulate your blood pressure. It's everything with your nerves, uh, everything from uh, you know, stress regulation. Uh, it is one of the most important things that we need in our bodies and we're always lacking it, right? And it does help with mental health as well. It can aid in that process as well. So how does magnesium benefit mental health? Well, magnesium in general, right, uh, it helps with the HPA uh, axis, uh, and that is your way of working on your stress, uh, how that's how your body manages stress in your body. Um, and it also helps with the neurotransmitters, right? Uh, and they help with literally transmitting information through your, all your brain cells. Um, so in general, if you're uh, magnesium deficient, it can cause a lot of mental problems. Interesting, so how does uh, um, deficiency in uh, magnesium lead to mental health issues? Uh, it could do with uh, you know blood pressure. It could cause anxiety, uh, depression, all those things, right? Because if you're magnesium deficient, your function of the body doesn't work. Because magnesium is actually responsible for pulling your potassium and sodium into your cells, and that will regulate your electrical pump, which is called the potassium sodium pump, and that gives you energy. So if you're off, you know you all these other stresses will occur in the body, in our bodies, and it could lead to mental problems. Uh, it could lead to cramping and other other problems as well. So is cramping one of the additional signs of um, magnesium deficient? Yeah, one of the, that's, I love that you asked that. It's a biofeedback, right? Your body's speaking to you. Uh, so basically, when you have a cramp in the body, that's a magnesium deficiency. If you're gonna have depression, uh, maybe anxiety, that could be a, a magnesium deficiency in the brain, uh, right? That's another big telltale sign. Uh, someone that can't relax as much, not enough magnesium in the body. So your body's kind of speaking to you, right? And it's our job to kind of uh, focus on that biofeedback and be like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, maybe I'm deficient in something, right? And that would be one of the tell signs that like, magnesium might be lacking in the body. So if someone's deficient in um, magnesium levels, yes. how, does, how do we safely increase our magnesium? Um... Yeah, so uh, safely, I would always say through food. Uh, food is the number one source for magnesium. We have to eat more dark leafy greens, nuts, seeds, uh, high, that's why we gotta eat whole foods. Very, very, very important to eat whole foods. Uh, and that's where we would be getting that magnesium then, you know what I mean, uh, it would be uh, sufficient to also supplement with an actual supplement uh, because today is very hard to find magnesium even in our food. That would be something that we want to speak to a doctor as well to kind of maybe see if we can get our magnesium uh, levels tested as well to kind of see if we, uh, a supplement would be the right thing. But first food, always food. What are some types of magnesiums you carry? Uh, so magnesiums that we carry, there's a few. Uh, uh, the one that we're looking at here in the box is magnesium uh, liquid, and that is citrate. And citrate will help with people with digestive issues. Uh, if you can't go to the bathroom, uh, it's mostly uh, a magnesium deficiency as well, right? And citrate kind of targets that digestive system. Then we got magnesium biglycinate or glycinate. Uh, magnesium biglycinate, I find that it targets the muscles a lot better. That's very good for sleep. That's where a lot of people take magnesium before going to bed. Uh, and that helps with relaxing the human, right? Uh, basically getting a deep sleep restless sleep that way you get a deep sleep body releases growth hormone you repair a lot better mental state will always be better if we get good night's sleeps um, number three theranate uh, that's my favorite one the most expensive magnesium on the market it's very hard to cross the blood to brain uh, barrier and uh, theranate is the transporter of magnesium up to the brain fun fact we only do carry about one percent of magnesium in our blood uh, it's mostly stored in our uh, actual muscle tissue our brain our heart uh, and our actual muscle and that's why magnesium is so important with those what we said earlier 300 functions so if you're magnesium deficient uh, you know and you're not and you're anxious right and you're you don't know what's going on irregular heartbeats all of a sudden uh, because that's your you know magnesium is your relaxer where calcium is the constrictor and that's how your muscles contract and release and that's where it could be a problem where we are uh, you know hypertension even in the body and bl regulating blood pressure levels imagine you don't have enough magnesium and your heart needs to pump well that's going to cause a lot more stress on the heart which is going to make it pump even harder and that's where heart, high blood pressure may arrive right so and that will cause anxiety right if our heart is struggling uh, same idea if you don't take deep breaths you are anxious right you need oxygen uh, to be uh, pumped all the way through the body so the body's more relaxed and that's where that could be the straight correlation you know uh, with the research that I've read you know what I mean if you're deficient in magnesium that will cause you know that could cause someone to be anxious 
You know what I mean? Uh, if, you're not, if you're not rested and relaxed, you're anxious. So magnesium is your calmer, it's the relaxer. And that's where we want magnesium in our diets. So how about magnesium for sleep? How does that work? Yeah, by glycinate. Uh, by glycinate, it's really good. It targets the muscle tissue, right? So a lot of people are deficient in magnesium. And if you're deficient in magnesium, of course you're not gonna sleep much. You're gonna be restless. You're gonna sleep through the whole, you're not, you're not gonna be just resting, right? And there's other factors that we have to follow to get a good night's sleep. But magnesium is very, very, very important, right? So magnesium will allow you to be more, if you're all tense, all of a sudden, and if you're wrestling around, you're moving around, you, f you find yourself moving around a lot at night, all of a sudden now you're just sleeping nice and calm. That will equate to a deep sleep, you know? And then you'll sleep through the whole night. Now, a lot of people don't realize that throughout the night, you're actually waking up tons of times, right? So this is how it actually will give you those deeper sleeps. So how about the, the right amount of dosage for magnesium? How, how would you kind of gauge that? Good, uh, good question. Uh, medically, uh, they'll say uh, there's an RDA, recommended amount. Uh, they'll say up to 400 to 420 for men, uh, 300 to 320 roughly for women. Um, and, you know, and that's the base the baseline. Uh, but you know, we should always visit a doctor, ask them, find out uh, kind of if we're deficient in certain things. The RDAs, uh, those are just the base baseline, right? Every human will be. Uh, you might have to adjust your magnesium. So if someone's eating a lot of solid, you know, taking Epsom salt baths because Epsom salt is also magnesium, uh, and they're eating a whole grain. Uh, I mean, uh, they're eating a nut, a lot of nuts and seeds throughout the day. Man, maybe they only need 200 milligrams. But what if the person has none of that in their diet? I promise you they might even eat 700. But how do we know that we have too much magnesium? Your body speaks a beautiful language. So earlier, as we said, muscle cramping, muscles don't release, anxiety, stress. Okay, now loose stools will be your sign that too much magnesium is in the body. You're too relaxed, right? And that's where uh, your body it would speak to you. So loose stools, I pull back on my magnesium. I can't go to the bathroom, which days it never happens. Uh, magnesium needs to be upped, so your body speaks to you. Right, right, that's interesting, it does. Yeah. I was wondering if there's any side effects or risks of taking magnesium as a supplement. I personally would say, always check with your doctor, always check with your physician, number one rule. Number two, listen to your body. Uh, always educate yourself as well. Check with a doctor and also educate. Don't only listen to one source. You know, even after this here, uh, this beautiful video that we're creating here, uh, it's one of the things that everybody should always you know, double check everything, right? Right, all right, it's been incredibly informative. Um, before we go, before we wrap up, is there any additional tips for our viewers um, to incorporate magnesium into yes. their daily routines? Yes, uh, biggest tips I always tell everybody is whole foods first. Uh, even though I own a supplement store, I've told everybody since day one, whole food first. Supplements are there to supplement. They're there to kind of plug in what we might be missing in our diet. Try all the natural routes first. Listen to your body, listen to the language it speaks. So eat your salads, eat your dark leafy greens. You want chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what is found in green plants. So when in doubt, eat as much green as possible. That's where you're gonna find a lot of magnesium because that's what chlorophyll is. Chlorophyll is the blood of the plants and they have magnesium in the middle of their, of their cells. Fun fact before we let everybody go here, if you look under a microscope, chlorophyll looks identical to human blood, but we have iron in the middle, they have magnesium in the middle. So hopefully the rich diet that we eat of even animal products, hopefully that animal is grass fed only. That's another tip, eat grass fed. That way that uh, animal has more magnesium in its flesh if you're gonna eat that route. For vegans, super greens are your best friends. Uh, anybody wants to take an Epsom salt bath, that's also magnesium. Skin, one of the biggest organs, will soak that magnesium in. That'll give you a great absorption rate. And uh, that'll be uh, one of the best things. And then, if you still need more magnesium, you feel like you're not getting enough, grab, talk to your local supplement store. Hopefully they, uh, they know a little bit about this as well. Ask them, look for biglycinate, deeper sleeps. Remember, better sleeps, more fat burning, more growth hormone release, less anxiety, less depression. You're gonna be less stressed. Everything regulates, body recovers nicely. Highly recommend going that route over anything else. You know, so food first, supplement second. Listen to your own body. Find out as much information as possible. Artie, thank you so much for sharing your expertise today. Uh, for the old you visiting downtown Toronto, please um, come down, visit Artie uh, at Lift the City Supplements.